The artificially created memory enhancement. Serum's training protocol is the fastest and most efficient way to the level. <laughs> Cybercrime is a type 1 offense. Minimum punishment 15 years. Anchor Robotics guarantees personal safety. All patrolling air units, be advised. Possible cybercrime activity in the vicinity. Hey, 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 we are back. How you doing? How you doing? We're back for episode 11, and I'm here with my main man, the co-host with the most, Mr. Lord of Fane. How you Hello, doing, everybody. I'm, I'm uh, still on vacation, so I'm doing <laughs> pretty well, actually. You're doing How's, good. How are you man. doing? I'm good. I'm good. I was a little frazzled with all my doctor's appointments, but I'm doing good now. I have a good, clean bill of health. The doctor gave me some good news, so that's good. I'm on the right track, awesome. so I'm excited. Awesome. That sounds good. And uh, who do we have joining us today? Well, Bjorn. Um, of course. <laughs> who ruined Famine's parking lot and now moved to ours uh, was here first. <laughs> <laughs> um Schmebulok, as always then um all the way from germany christian is here red mando red mando uh red toy is here hey Hello. what's up red toys and then uh justin welsh hey justin good to see you buddy uh adrian forbes but adrian. he said he'll have, he has to catch the show later he has a uh, um and yeah, he, he he wishes us fun and a good show. And I think that's, we're gonna that's have that. Anyway. That's, that's okay. We'll we'll uh, we'll we'll hold the, the, the ship down for you, buddy. And hey, stop it. Awesome. Good to see uh, you. Starboy. Oh, and there's more down there. I have to scroll down. And my three seven point five <laughs> addiction is here as well. Hey, what's up, man? Ian Sweeney is here. Hey, Ian. <laughs> yeah, good clean bill of health. Followed by a large bill. Oh well. Yeah, exactly. Well, we don't have big bills in Canada, so that's the good stuff. Our stuff is free, so I don't have to pay anything. <laughs> Fatback Station is here. Fatback, your only limitation is your imagination. <laughs> and Jerry is here. Hey, Jerry, what's up, man? Oh my goodness, you have a good turnout. I'm so happy. I know there's gonna be more showing up as we do the show, but we have a great show for you guys, man. We have some awesome greeblies. Mr. Lord Thane has some awesome stuff he wants to show off because he didn't get to show them all last week. And he got some new stuff. So I'm excited to see what he got because it's a surprise to me. I haven't seen anything yet either. So that's going to be really cool. We have some awesome submissions for the monthly challenge for this one. So I can't wait to show those off. And as well, we're going to be giving you information about what the monthly challenge is for April at the end of the show so you guys can get started. And you can do uh, some awesome work because you guys have been awesome. You guys have showed us great support. And I want to say congratulations to District 3. He got his hoodie and he actually put up a story on uh, Instagram. So you guys can go check him out. D-I-S-T, I think, dot zero three, I think is his name. Yeah. You can go look him up and you'll see his story there as well as go show him some love and go look at his awesome creations because he makes some really awesome stuff because he's also uh, part of the Grime City, and they make some quality, quality stuff. And um, hopefully I'll be getting some stuff from him, but I'm also looking to buy some stuff towards the end of this month, and I'll definitely show those off next month. So, um, yeah, you I, know, I, with I, all the stuff I, that's going on, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say that um, uh, at the latest, when we once we reach episode 50 or so, we should offer a compilation of all your intros, because <laughs> um, I re I love each and every one of them, and they everyone every each one is unique. So that'd be a great thing. Thank you Actually. so much. This well, this one I kind of cheated. I kind of used the same one as last week. I just made some slight changes to it. Some of you guys may have noticed, but yeah, I love I, I love making these. It's so much fun. It actually helps my skills as well with video editing. So the, the more we do, the better I'll get, the more complex our intros are going to get. So I'm looking <laughs> forward to that. But anyways, let's, uh, let's get into today's show then, right? Thank you. 
bigger. Ah, uh -uh, smaller. No, it's the one with a hole on the end that curves this way. I think I saw it once before over there with that pile near the circulators. There you go. I always knew you were the smart one. Well, that starts our new segment is what to working on. So I've been working on a, just basically working on one main thing. I have had some other things I've been working on in the background, but I didn't have time to take pictures of them. Uh, so some of you guys would know two weeks ago we did um, the creator's corner was Rebel Base Bill. And he has a challenge going on. Actually, today was my last day, so I have to submit it today. But it was to create either a speeder or a speeder garage. So I decided to create a speeder with a unique character for the universe. So here's what I've been working on. Just, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen these pictures already. But I'm working on a sci-fi Punisher. Now, the Punisher that I'm making, he's also going to be in my universe. His name is going to be Frank Kess, uh, Castle. But the spelling is very different. It's going to be um, Frank. So it's going to be F A R. A and K. So it's almost like a, you're saying Ferenc. So Ferenc and his last name Castle will be spelled K A S S E L. So not like the, you know, castle, like the big building. It's going to be cast like that, just to give it a little more of a sci fi type of feel to it. And he's going to be a former death trooper who has now become a mercenary because of the after Endor. He became a mercenary and he's actually looking to punish anyone that was part of the Endor battle that helped destroy the um, the, Des the second Death Star. So he's <clears throat> out to punish those people. And so here's some other shots of him. So this is basically for anyone who hasn't had a chance to go check out my Instagram. These are the pictures. So none of these are the finished pictures because I'm saving those for Rebel Base Bill's show because he's actually editing the videos right now. So I'm going to be setting some of my updated pictures with some awesome backgrounds and stuff like that. And hopefully he'll enjoy those. So Stay yeah, away that's... from those Ewoks is what Starboy Station says. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to eat Ewoks; they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue sauce. So yeah, that's uh, essentially what I've been working on. And I, I believe, Mister Lord of Thane, you've got some stuff that uh, you're also working on, right? Uh, yes, um, more or less, because um, as you know, oops, it's the wrong way around. Can't we do that the <laughs> other way around? I, <laughs> the, um, uh, I, I'm not at home, so I don't have all my tools and all my stuff. But um, like the very first day um, I arrived, I visited um, like seven Rosses and some Dollar Tree and Dollar Generals. Right. And I, at the Rosses, I picked up like a dozen of, of Star Wars aliens, mostly Jabba's and goons. And, oh, cool. Um, Yesterday, we, I, I came across another Ross that I hadn't visited, and there were no Star Wars <laughs> figures, but they had they had some Fortnite figures. Oh, and nice. um, I, all I did so far is some kit bashing. And, um, My favorite kind of customizing. I, I kind of like it. I think I have two new bounces <clears throat> for my, for oh, my cool. casino now. So here's the one guy. Oh, I like that in his suit. With the suit and, and the other guy. Pumped up. Oh yeah! Don't mess with those guys. <laughs> and I think they go along quite nicely. Yeah. So I have these, nice and also, passing. and also, I think the figures are called Shadow. Some things I I don't play. I don't play Fortnite. My son would know. And um, they're the Shadow Squad or something. And there's a third one uh, who hasn't got a suit on, <clears throat> and um, oh, he wow. totally gives me like pirates. Yeah, like, you know, space pirates wipes. Yep, that's you nice. Maybe give him some color. I don't even know. I, I like, I kind of like the black and silver. Yeah, I do so, too. Yeah, um, that's really cool, man. Uh, Greg, that's a good, uh, good question. How do you get all your stuff home? Do you throw <clears throat> out all, all, all the clothes before you leave the states? No, actually, I came with what I called a uh, babushka of suitcases, like I had a small suitcase. <laughs> Inside of uh, another with, with all my <laughs> the, the few clothes I need here packed into a, a larger suitcase and both of them into a third suitcase so I can um, <laughs> have two uh, drop-off baggage and one hand luggage for the way back and I right. think I'll be good. 
<laughs> but Plus, you have a certain uh, you have a certain limit depending on how long you stay, right? You can spend a certain amount of money. So I think you'll be okay with all the stuff you have. Probably, I think so as well. The most of it is used. It, it's not. It's not. It's not packet packed. So I think I'll be right. fine. But yeah, yeah I, it doesn't I take worry. up that much space once you. But get yeah, exactly. It's figures, right? So yeah, it's just figures. So yeah, that's actually a good idea. Uh, uh, a cantina sommelier, the the yak face. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> that was a, but, yeah, that was a was, cool kit bash. I was lucky at each Ross I went to. Either they had some Fortnite fix or they had Star Wars fix for two, uh, for two dollars each because that's um, Jerry. You hear says. that, Rad Toys? Because we're doing a road trip in August to the states, so we're gonna be visiting some of the, you other creators out there. So I'm looking forward to that. And so yeah, we're gonna definitely have to stop at different Rosses. Uh, Rad toys, uh, see what we could find for two bucks. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. So he says we are, buddy. Um, yes. <laughs> so that's basically all that I've been working on uh, here at the moment, but I've got yeah. a lot of other stuff to show off. Um, Let's do like, it. <laughs> like last week. So um, I've got two more entries from my birthday challenge that showed nice. up in the last week. Um, First up is Defiant, uh, what was it? Defiant Outer Rim Station? Yeah. It? Yeah, Defiant Outer Rim Station. Um, yeah. And um, he sent this crate. Oh, cool. So this is how it's packaged. And um, like we said yeah. last week, we love it when people take the time to do stuff like this. Yeah. And then there is this, I think it's a. It's like a wanted for, oh, um, cool. for Lando. But, but the actual thing is this. Oops. Oh wow, I like that. It's, it's actually uh, it, is it encased in something too? Yeah, that's the uh, you know the Camino and Clonus. Yeah. Um figure they came with this as a so cool. And then he, he put in the, the I think it's the Emperor. Yeah, it's the Emperor because it's the Order 66 memorabilia. Oh um, cool. <laughs> that's awesome. So it, it's supposed to be the moment when, when Palpatine is um giving the Order 66 nice so i really love that that's cool and also the crate is cool so, yeah very much i like that so yeah and, so if you guys want to send us stuff by all means send us stuff like that in pack in nice packaging <laughs> we love we love that oh, kind of stuff we love the extra can, i i don't mind just send me stuff it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true i don't mind just getting stuff too so <laughs> talking of which the second thing that um, arrived. Most of you already know it and have have a version. I think it's Starboy Station signature statue, but oh, cool. in a miniature version this time. Oh wow, that's really shop. small. So yeah, that is tiny, 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 <laughs> tiny, and it's it, it's the bronze version, and I it, I love it. It's, that it's is so, so cute. cool. I, even my wife said she likes it. So and that's something. Um, he did a so. great job with those. I have to say, shout out to Starboy Station for that because he sent me one as well. And oh my gosh, I was just so in love with it. I showed it to uh, my friends and they're like, oh my goodness, who made that? I'm like, oh, this awesome guy, I know, online, uh, Starboy Station. They go, that's his name? I'm like, yeah, it's Starboy Station. But he makes um, some awesome stuff. Ian Sweeney just says it would make a good item for a chunk treasure shop. Yeah, um, actually... That's it exactly is, what it's for. <laughs> it's exactly what it's for because I have an arts and antiques shop that I'm building, yep. and my ch birthday challenge was for all the guys to send me a piece they build, made, um, uh, crafted, mm -hmm. and that would actually fit one of the displays in my treasure uh, in my art uh, shop. So yeah, exactly. Um, uh, right on target then, Starboy. And <laughs> he also sent me these, and I I I love them. Um, let me say I have to put it the right. If there's in case there's somebody out there who can read Arabesh, <laughs> these are three D printed signs. Yeah. Um, the upper one says club, like mm -hmm. in Club Obi Wan club. Yeah, that's but cool. then it says 1973 because that's the year I was born, and that's yep. also that's a wonderful 1973 year. 1973 is my is my station name. Nice. Um, first and level 1973. So it's going to be in Club 1973 signs uh, on my bar and cantina. I love That's that. That's so cool. Awesome job, guys. That's so cool. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we were born in the same year, my friend. A great year. <laughs> a good a good year, definitely. So those are the things mostly. Oh no, that's not true. Those those are the two things I got um, for my for my competition. Everything else that's coming up now is is uh, is just random other stuff. Um, it's got nothing to do more or less with the competition. But I start with another uh, birthday present. Ooh. Um, um, uh, Sinister Toys and Customs, aka Fatback Station. Oh, I didn't um, know that he had another name. Oh, nice. That is so nice. And um, this came with this. Oh, cool. And this because it's a Very present good. for my birthday. Um, uh, I, I sang for your birthday, so <laughs> I sang you a song. So, that was my birthday present to you. <laughs> which was awesome as well. Um, but this, this so cool. piece, it's made out of wood, and, uh, and there's 3D printed greeblies, and then he painted it, and I, I just love his... his Excellent uh, work, yeah. He work. does he a great up, job with uh, yeah. painting Actually, and, and kit up, too. Uh, two new builds today with like an orange... Yeah. Uh, orange yellowish color mm. and also that color scheme it's it's just beautiful and they, i yeah. think they all work together and would probably look like a little caribbean um <laughs> uh, village or whatever but nice. um thank you so much this piece is awesome Excellent i can't work. wait to shoot it down in the beach uh or at the oh beach, yeah um, that's gonna be cool in the sand so yeah that's i so it gets everywhere Moving on, <laughs> of course I hate it. Um, moving on, where do we where do we head next? Okay, um, we we talked about this quite often, and uh, most people know about it. Um, the the uh, Crimson Firehawk from Young Young yep. Jedi um, is is actually quite a nice ship to customize. Is, yeah. And um, Trans Warp Review. Transwarp, uh, what was it? Refueling post, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's transport refueling post. Um, he does a uh, he he he's uh, he's made a, a um, an insert? Say, a printable an insert a printable uh, cockpit uh, right. that fits right into the cockpit, and that's uh, 3.75 style. Nice. Um, and I ordered that. So this, these are the controls that come with it. That is so There's cool. 3D printed panel that goes right here as well. Nice. So these are the controls, and it's got a floor. Um, I think it has two seats, right? Or is it four no, seats? No, it actually has four seats. Oh, wow. It was four, yeah. That is so excellent. So, so yeah, if you guys want to get this, I don't know if he still has them up, because he does sell this. I uh, think you he looks up them on his Etsy. Yeah, he does have them on Etsy. I found them on Etsy, and I did see them there. I didn't get a chance to order one. Uh, I think he had ran out when I was ready to order. Maybe um, because he's also got some other up. stuff up now. Oh, and, okay. um, I was I was lucky enough. Um, <laughs> you know how it sometimes happens that you suddenly come across a piece um, that you definitely want to have, and then you just right. head out to eBay and you buy it. And yep. like two days later, you buy it again <laughs> because you forgot you bought it. So uh -oh. I, when I came here, when I arrived here, I had two Jabas, um, which both of them I just bought for the little froggy thing that came with the Java. <laughs> um, so and and uh, just when I opened them in another chat, somebody asked if if I had a Jabba. Um, so I, I think it was it actually was Fatback. Um, so Fatback got one of the Jabas and the other. Nice. Jabba, I traded with um, uh, Transwarp Refueling uh, Post. That's so and cool. He, he sent me some awesome stuff for the trade. He sent me all the three uh, other builds he has up for sale at the moment. So there's this little... Oh, yeah, the little booth. I love the little those. Booth. Yeah. Um, the little cooking stove. Oh, that is so cool. Which is really, really cool. And it goes so well with the Crime City... Um, yeah. Uh, Little, little stores little and, store, and, yeah. and his uh, his like he's got burger patties and stuff so that's yeah. cool <laughs> and then this which i think is probably some kind of vending machine it looks that way oh. yeah so 
and this well, I think nice he left well. it open so that you could put whatever yeah. image you could want all, in there. It could also be like a communication display or whatever. Oh, so yeah. this, this is pretty cool. And um, the last piece he sent me is actually, I, I think that's the, the neatest, but I don't think he's got it up for sale yet. Um, it's this little piece, which oh, is like wow. a one-man speeder, it, which looks like the speeders from Solo a bit. Yeah. Or like, so, uh, but the cool thing about this is it's it completely comes apart. So what? you can take nice all attached with magnets. Oh wow. And that's you can impressive. Kind of reassemble it. However you um, want. Or, or change it up a little bit. Change it up however you want to. So that this is, is so the, cool. So it could cool be a piece. speeder or it could be like a wagon or something. Exactly. Or something completely else. You could also yeah, like, exactly. It could be a console. Like just another another vending booth. Yeah, <laughs> so, that is so cool. Yeah, I, I, excellent I love work, it. buddy. Excellent work. Uh, yeah, well, so then I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely put a link in the description after the show because I didn't know what the the link was, so I'll put the link in later on today, and then you guys can go check him out and see what he has for sale. I'll put his Etsy and I'll put his Instagram, so that way you can also check out his awesome work on Instagram yes. as well. Definitely, definitely do so. And I think I have the better part of that. Uh, place, so. <laughs> uh, it looks that way, man, because that's some really talented stuff that he created there. So that's so good. Definitely. Thank you so much, man. I don't know why I'm saying thank you. I didn't get anything. but I, I just feel like saying thank you because it, it just looks so good. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. I, and I love the idea of, of having all the little panels just attached with magnets. And I have yeah, a snuck this. They don't move and nothing. So it's it's, it's really cool. That is so. Cool. Um, so, last what else you got? <laughs> yeah, the last person I want to do a huge, like a huge shout out to, and mm -hmm. show off a lot of stuff is Bird Edges Station, Aegis Station. Um, oh yes, he. I've got so many goodies, and um, yeah, what I have here, you're probably all familiar with these little slimies by now. Yep. You'll, you'll see those later on today, too. <laughs> and I have every color variant except, I think, the one where there's only three different ones. Oh, cool. So, so the, I have seven Ooh. color variants now. And I especially love the black guy with the, with the golden eyes. Black is so beautiful. So <laughs> if you don't have a bunch of slimers yet... You need to get them. You need to have them. They are so good. And... Um, yeah. uh yeah, so these are cool. Then I I also got some of his, his awesome little droids. Like we have yeah, this. Yeah, those are cool. I have some coming. I can't wait. This one, which is awesome. Yeah, I never and got then, those pup droids. I really wanted them, but every time uh, when I did have the money to get them, he was always sold out. And I have this oh, guy. Wow, that's so cool. Is that the, the, the wheelie the, one? I, yeah, it's got. It's, yeah. Four little That's wheels cool. and um it's like it's mouse droid sized i yep. i keep forgetting how he how he calls them but it's i Ooh, love it wheelie and, <laughs> and here we have his like roomba droid is that him or is that timbo i think that one's timbo oh did, 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 did yeah, i miss that up mess that up again okay sorry <laughs> if, if it's timbo it's either still, way it's still it's, awesome it's still <laughs> that awesome doesn't change how awesome <laughs> it is but i think timbo <laughs> makes that one yeah, it does have a different. Now that I, it does have a different feel to it, so it might probably be from a different three D printer. Yeah. Yeah. So I this is from Timbo Toys. It's awesome as well. It's the little Rumba. Yeah, toy. you guys have to check him out as well. He does make some awesome buildings as well as droids and speeders, all kinds of awesome. Both of those guys are really talented. So what I'll do as well at the end of the show is I'll put their stuff. That's Timbo as well, right? That is one, that Timbo as well? Oh no, no, no. That one's Aegis. That one's Aegis. That's Aegis. That's, that's, I, ages, that's the one yeah. I, conf I, I confused. I messed up last for a time, Timbo yeah. last week, but that's edges. Yeah, I can tell by the eyes. By now. the eyes, yeah. Yeah. He so, always creates such awesome robots and like little creatures. And what makes them so awesome are the eyes. I love the eyes. So, yeah. So, definitely check him out. I'll be putting both his Instagram and his store in the description after the show so you can check more. him out and you can also <laughs> check out timbo timbo stuff i'll put his links in the description as well and then also there's all of our merch that you can get but anyways you're going to say something yeah because i'm there's more from bird oh, so what's what's in there 
the, there, there's a little translucent blue Nuka Coke bottle. I thought you were uh, showing is. I thought you were showing a card. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's <laughs> that's why I was talking. I saw the there's logo. a little sticker in there as well. But that's that the so cool. that's the little uh, um, the Nuka Cola uh, drinks from Fallout. Exactly. Yes, yeah, Starbucks Station. It actually does say AS on the back. Um, that's what I was looking for last week. Um, I can't. I I can see it, but only in better light. Yeah. <laughs> it does say. Um, so these go with the vending bot or whatever um, mm -hmm. purpose you want them. And they really have a unique shape, and they are they are perfect size for the 118. So I love them. It's crazy that he can make something that small. But definitely, yeah. definitely go and check that out when I put and the links up after the show. Like um, one of the coolest uh, things he does. I also love. I, I I love all his designs, but I love yeah. his idea of giving. Uh, like newbie world builders or as like in my case uh, world builders um on vacation the the possibility to do instant world building with some pieces he designed um mm -hmm. like these um pop oh, in yeah. windows I need, I need to get those when they come so up. you, you they, those are made to just you know trace mm -hmm. the inner shape and then cut it out of, of cardboard and then you can just stick it in they also come with these translucent windows oh cool and they have a little uh, a little like hexagonal sh uh, pattern in them so his I think ideas are just so brilliant and this he also so has awesome. a doorway that works the same way and um i've got three of the windows and one doorway and just to show how this oh, might cool. look I, this is like I think this is. Oh, so you yeah, are working on stuff. <laughs> See, you're working on stuff. That's awesome. So it's just one of the boxes. Um, one of the goodies came in, yeah. and I just cut this out and this, and just. Oh wow, that is brilliant, right man! And this one even works from the inside. Hold on. So yeah, those aren't up for sale yet. He's still. He's still working out the details, but look at that. It even slides off. That is so cool. And it's the translucent. Nice. Blue. So it's like a it's supposed to be like an energy type. Like an shield, energy, right? like an energy shield. Yeah. That is so, so cool. Yeah. Definitely can't wait for those because those those are the ones. That's why I started keeping my boxes because remember I was saying earlier on I wasn't going to make a city. But then when he made those, I'm like, oh, I could totally make a city now because it's just on a box and I can just take them off when I don't need them anymore. That is so those are going to look really cool together. Yeah. So um, I basically have, a, have, have some buildings uh, for shooting without having done anything so that is so and, cool and this idea is so cool and i think um i think that it's it's well worth going deeper into like a couple of different um yeah. window uh, and and doorway um ideas because it would also work i i built most of my dioramas from, uh, from foam board and this right. would work with the foam board as well oh, yeah Just that's cut right. it out dig it in and so yeah these are awesome that's thank so you cool. so much I um, I can't wait everybody. till those come out. So that's going to be so cool. You guys were so generous. That's so nice of you guys to send those things. Obviously, it, there's, you know, stuff, stuff we're traded for and things like that. But all um, those things were awesome. Paid for, <laughs> but not <laughs> everything. Some was paid. <laughs> but, but yeah, it was just it. awesome. By far not all of it. So, so yeah. I'm really looking forward to those cutouts and those windows and stuff. That is what I'm really excited for because I can't wait to start putting them onto my my station. I'm starting to lay out where I want boxes to go and where I want buildings and all that kind of stuff. And I like the fact that it has that translucent stuff so you could put lighting inside and, and have some nice effects coming through the those translucent parts. That's so cool. Well, that I, I guess that's the end of the show. I guess we're going now. <laughs> of course not. I'm just kidding. Let's go into our next segment, our favorite segment, or at least mine. Here we go. And now it's time for Grievelings. Grievelings. Oh, my precious. Oh, yes. Anything can be a Grievely. <laughs> Yeah, in case you guys are wondering, I, I do that voice. So, but I only got, I created that voice after you sent me that picture. 
Because whenever I see that picture, I'm like, that's what I think he should sound like. So that's the voice I came and up that's with. That's still my favorite of the intros. I love yeah, it. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, maybe because you're biased because you created that <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, I, yes. You created that one. But anyways, folks, we are at our, our favorite segment, which is the Greeblies, where you guys and us as well, we come up with different ideas on things you could use, either from around the house or inexpensive things that you can use to make awesome, awesome uh, customs, dioramas, that sort of thing. One of the people that you should also check out and part of our network of, of channels is Famine Studios. On Tuesdays, he has a show where he actually chit-chats with you guys, but he also creates some awesome custom buildings and things like that using everyday junk and trash and like inexpensive things. So he actually helps people out that are on a budget. Like people like me, <laughs> who were on a budget and love to build things. And Red Mando did not disappoint because he came up with this awesome, awesome idea for that Luke Skywalker piece. I believe the the original piece came from Power of the Force. Now, yes. if you were to try to find out in the in the third market, you'd be paying a lot for it. So he came up with an idea on how you can make your own. So let's check it out. Actually, I'm going to ask you, um, Lord of Thane, that. This thing here, uh, oh, hold on, let's go back. That thing on the very far left, what is that? Is that coffee? I couldn't that, tell. It okay, looks well, we'll see in the other. Christian, was isn't das ganz, ich, I'm asking him, he's in the chat. Oh. <laughs> was, ganz links auf dem Bild, das orange is this, is this coffee? Is this so instant coffee? I think it's like instant coffee, but I couldn't tell. We'll see the, 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 the better picture. This is just oh, a. Okay. So here's what we're talking about. So this is the, the Luke Skywalker back the tank. Now that is expensive. I actually looked for those before because I, I wanted to make get one and it was just way too expensive. So he came ah. up with an inexpensive way of making one. So what is I it? Think, I think I remember the, because um, I, when I was at his place, we talked about this piece and right. he also gave me one of the pieces. I actually have one exact same build uh, That's awesome. he made back home. I just painted it up silver, and I think he said it's um, chocolate coated nuts. That's what. Oh, it is. It okay. Candy, chocolate coated nuts. Yeah, okay. he's, That's he's cool. just saying it in the chat right now. Chocolate Yeah, chocolate coated nuts. I just nice. remembered because oh yeah, of course I know how it's built because I have the piece. Now, and the um, unfortunate thing is we don't have that here in North America, but I'm <laughs> sure you could find something similar yes. that could fit the fit the bill. So also basically, the other part, sorry, I don't know about I don't I, sorry I don't know about North America, but in Germany because or in all of Europe because we want to try to get rid of the plastic rubbish, you right. won't get those white pieces anymore because they are actually McFlurry pieces. Yes, from I was going to say those are from uh, the McDonald's McFlurries. Yeah, we still have those here. Um, so yeah, it fits perfectly onto that container. So as you could see in the picture on the right. He's starting to put it together. And actually, you're going to see it in use in one of the other pictures that he had sent. And here it is. So you could see the, the one on the very uh, left, so towards the top of the picture. That's the original one. And the one on the right is the one that he made. Like, how awesome is that? When I first saw this picture, I didn't know right away yeah. that it was it, it, uh, he made it. It looks so, it really looks like the factory piece. Um, exactly. As I said, I I have I have one of the, he made like I think three or four of these, and he gave me one when I visited him, and um, it just looks like factory bought. Especially, he he still got the plastic, and also where the little droid is on, that's a little plywood. Yeah. He he didn't paint it up. I painted mine up, um, um, like in a gunmetal silver. Right. And um, it looks like it's just awesome. It's, it's beautiful. Like he does such excellent work and he does it like it's very inexpensive. So anyone can make this kind of stuff. Yeah, like, Starboy, they are with... the same picture. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> so like he does awesome stuff. So let's see what else we have in, in our Greeblies. So oh. next up, we have your stuff. So I'll let you talk about these. So if you want to, do you want to take over the controls or do you want me to keep going through them? I uh, I you can you can go through it. I right, also so have we'll, it here. This okay, you'll go through it and then you can let me know what's what's what. Yeah, so this little piece, um, for a change, I didn't eat something, I drank something. <laughs> <laughs> so um, because we are not used to and don't really like the chlor, chloride water, yeah, we we tend to 
like cook and drink with the with the spring water here so we buy those huge canisters right and um they have i don't know it's like it's it's like you can you can pull this out and then the water so that, starts that's running the spout, right yeah the like a valve spout. yeah okay. and um one of the containers is empty now so i i kept it and it's got quite you, you have to use quite some force to actually press it and move it in right and i was thinking this looks like a retractable landing gear it does so, actually when you pointed that out to me i'm like it totally does look like this like painted gunmetal or you know a nice metallic color and it definitely looks like a landing gear yeah so i'm hoping i can like finish two more of those canisters while i'm here so i get at least three <laughs> yeah, that's be kind and of my next my next uh, starship build i think there might be something coming up in one of the next couple of months um yep. <laughs> Uh, we'll have a retractable landing gear. Yeah, so, so stay yeah. stay tuned. Stay tuned to the channel for that because uh, maybe down the road we'll do some spaceship builds. That Who knows? That makes me jealous, Red Toy. He says he's got a natural spring on his property. Uh, that's actually wow. Well, good for you. <laughs> so that's excellent. An excellent Greebly. So those that are in the States that have access to, I don't know if we have that particular type of water spout on our jugs here in canada but i'm sure I can i've find seen some i've seen there. similar ones on like the 10 liter containers of red and white wine you get it for example in australia so mm. if you're not into spring water but wine you should there get you go <laughs> there's always an option on this show always an option so that's an excellent idea again very inexpensive stuff we always try to come up with stuff to make things easier especially for people on a tight budget like me and whoever else is out there and so now we go on to my stuff. So some of the stuff that I came up with are just stuff that I found around the house, some old stuff that I used to have. So the first thing is on the very far left and, the, and right, both of those were from an old um, cleaning tool, like almost like a vacuum pieces. Uh, so last week, Electric Blue mentioned he had a piece. This piece, this week I have something similar but the thing is, the pieces are very unique to the device that I had. So it was old. It wasn't working anymore. So I decided to keep these pieces. The piece on the left is like a squeegee. So it's a steam cleaner. You use it to clean like your uh, windows and stuff like that. But it, it no uh -huh. longer works. So I said, hey, that looks like it could be a radar dish or a communication dish of some kind. Especially if I add some lighting to it and some more greeblies. Because that flat surface is just asking for greeblies to be put on it. So that's, uh, that's definitely an option. And then on the right of that, those two pieces, those were actually the connectors for the hose. So they connected oh. to either end of the hose, not uh -huh. like the, the hose for this same device, the, the yeah. steam cleaner thing. Yeah, it's got the same design. So I Exactly. But it just looks so sci-fi, the design. I, I probably don't even really have to paint it, just weather it, right? Yeah. So it looks really cool. And I was also thinking those could maybe be like thrusters. You know, they can be thrusters, they can be, I don't know, some kind of Pillars, tubing. columns, tubing, yeah. It some can be energy, all coils, of... whatever, exactly. paint them up. Uh, paint like them up like copper or something. Copper, exactly. Or yes. anything, anything like that. Yeah. And then the last one I have are these. So these are, if you have like a desk drawer and you have those inserts that you put in there to hold like your change mm. or to hold okay. like your pens and stuff. That's what these are. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking at using them, because they have like a little angled part. So if you hold them up, I should have taken a picture of me holding them up. It can make a surface almost like where you could put a keyboard. And what I was actually going to use them for, I didn't actually end up working on this for the monthly challenge, but I wanted to make them um, for my vendor, gun, gun uh, shop vendor. I was going to put the guns on there to display them on there. And I wanted to put lights on top. But unfortunately, I didn't get around to doing that because I was working on the Rebel build base. But I do definitely have something for the monthly challenge. So, yeah, desk inserts for uh, your desk. If you still have those old school things, you can see, use them like this. There's also those long ones that you can use as well. And those you can put like guns or any kind of thing that you want to put on display. You can use those as well. And next up, we have, oh, Star yes, Station. Starboy yeah. Station. So part of what I have in Starboy Station's Greebly, he didn't really necessarily include it in the Greebly per se when he sent it to me, but I included it because it's part of his monthly challenge. So I'll show it to you here, but I won't go into too much detail 
until we get to his uh, monthly challenge. But first up, the first few pictures are of that. See that orange thing that he has there, like the bridge that he has? Those are made out of model pieces, and he just repainted it. So he actually went back to like the old school way of kit bashing, like they did in Star Wars, where they have combined different models and stuff like that. He actually did that to make the edge of his the bridge. I'm guessing it's the edge of his shelf to give it some detail and to make it look really cool. Because if you look at Starboy Station, he has some really nice designs in his station. Definitely go and check him out so you can see some of his awesome builds and his unique ideas. So here's one of them. Here's some more angles of that. Again, very like these are things you wouldn't think to do until you do it, and then it looks so cool. So that's why we show you these, to give you ideas, or to maybe give you a perspective that you may not have thought of on your own. So Starboy, that's awesome, man. What's he saying there? Yeah, he's saying it's the edge of his shelf. Yeah, so it's the edge of the shelf. And you know how some shelves, at the edge of it just looks like the, the particle board or it just looks plain Jane? He gave it some perspective, some depth, and it just looks really cool. So Definitely. these are the two pieces that are going to be part of his monthly bill. I won't go into details as to what it's going to be for, but the image on the left is actually from a Captain America truck that he took apart or maybe it was broken already and he's going to use it in his monthly bill. So when we get to the monthly build, you'll see what it's used for. And also the, the containers on the right, so that's like container lids and stuff like that. He also used that as part of his bill. And I'll explain to you how he did that once we get to the build. So one of them is the, the yellow part is a lid and they're, they're both lids rather. And the top part is just from the dollar store. So very inexpensive stuff. And in some cases, recyclable goods. So excellent work there. And you guys will really be impressed once you see what he did with this stuff. And here we have Red Toys Galaxy. He actually came up with this really awesome, really unique idea. That's his new logo. Really love that new logo. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And so these are cable boxes. So um, I don't know. If maybe you guys don't really have any cable boxes. Or maybe he got these. I don't know where he got these, but the thing is, it's such a brilliant idea how he used them. So right away, you can see at the top of that cable box, it looks like grates. You can use them like maybe in a like a floor grate, or in his case, he used them as a wall grate. So look ah. at behind this figure, and the lighting too really makes it stand out. So it made, yeah. makes it pop. So he did an excellent job with that, uh, and I love that idea. Are uh, these one twelve figures or are these? Yeah, these ones are one twelve figures uh, because for the scale. Yeah, okay. Right, but, but still, you can I, use it for I, any I love scale. the greatest. That's cool. Yeah, and the, the what really makes it stand out is the lighting. So that's really cool. And then you could do like Starboy, combine that with some model pieces and add them into there. Yeah. So that's really cool. Where did he did he say where he got those? Yeah, he says work was throwing them out. Oh yeah, that that happened to me once where I worked. I had they were throwing out all their old telephone technology stuff because they were replacing mm -hmm. it all. So they said, "Oh, you, they had a, a bin in the basement where you can just go and take stuff." Because they actually still worked, but I just saw them as Greeblies <laughs> to yeah. build to make bills. <laughs> so I'll show you some of them in maybe some of our other Greebly uh, episodes. I'll, in yeah. my monthly challenge, I used uh, like I. We oh, yeah, threw the, out the we fans. threw out two PCs um in in our in my office and I took them apart for Greenleys, of course. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, that that brings us to the end of our weekly Greebly. So excellent work, guys. Uh sending those in to us. Uh, awesome ideas. And again, every week we show off Greebly so that you guys can maybe add to your world building or maybe provide us with ideas so we can add to ours. So we always look forward to any ideas. So just either send it to myself or to Lord of Thane. You can always send us your ideas. If you have pictures of them in use, even better as well. Or you can just give us a short description on how you would use them to give us an idea of what uh, you have in mind when you see those pieces. I think because uh, we're don't got too much time left. Which but we are uh, three quarters of an hour. We are. Oh, okay, now. cool. We're doing we're minutes. doing pretty good. We have now awesome. here we the perfect timing. So Excellent. let's go into our next segment then. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. We are on to the monthly build challenge. Even though we saw these pictures, we want to look at them again because you just did an excellent job. And now you're here, so you can kind of tell us what your thought process was when you were going through some of these. So let's uh, let's get into some of this. So okay. basically, what what did you build this out of? Um, well, the, the actual build you have to subtract the little the little vending booth from from Crime City Disc uh, 03. And the little black thing, um, which right. is my booth, booth oh, okay. spot. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's like a droid who's selling cocktails. Um, oh, that's cool. From its little little bending thing, uh, so I call it the booth spot. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, those are just there for uh, illustrative purposes. <laughs> nice. The rest is, um, as I just said, we we threw out those old computers and. Um, I took them apart, and one of my favorite things from computers to use is the fans. Yep. And this one, these ones really had some huge fans, um, mm -hmm. one each. And um, I, my thought pro process probably was um, the the iconic Marilyn Monroe um, uh, on oh. the subway <laughs> where, where her dress goes up. off. Yeah. So that was kind of the thing I was going for. Like I wanted nice. to have those those vents in the floor with some crating on them um like this is this is going to be coruscant level 1973 so it's right. already pretty down in the planet and there right. has to be some object oxygen um yeah, slow circulate, circulate, the circulate air, yeah. though they would probably have some vents like this and mm -hmm. this is going to be like um i, I want to use it for quite a few photo shots but right uh, this, um like the place where it's gonna be when it's not in use is like the central place of my new expansion of of uh, coruscant levels um 73. Right. so all the shops and all the pieces i got from everyone will be like all around so this cool. um and um so i i there's some benches on the side and some some um uh, glow in the dark and and uv lighting plants so there's like a little park and people can right. sit there, relax, eat the stuff they got from all the, the food uh, vendors. And I also the, I also used another Greebly, this piece that's lit up in the back there. Yeah. That's from a little, like a toddler's book. Um, oh, actually, okay. Actually a Star Wars book with um, nice. four pages. Um, and um, each of the little buttons was mm -hmm. meant the, the kid the kid can hit it and then there's the sound coming out of it but oh, okay. the toy was the, the, the toy was broken and so it's from from a colleague of mine uh, at nice. work and he knows my star wars addiction and when it was broken he said here <laughs> do you want to have it and of course. so of course <laughs> uh, it immediately screamed out like advert advertising <laughs> sign to me yeah, so I took that, it apart, cool. um, put some lighting in there, put some translucent stickers in there, um, which I can replace um, mm -hmm. with any kind of ad I want to have. And then I painted it up, and um, it's attached by a magnet, so I cool. can you can turn it any direction you want, or you just take it off, and it's not on this little piece. So that is that's, so that's awesome, man. My boat, yeah. Great job, buddy. I love I love that piece with the the button that you the, that you did the translucent stickers on. That like that looks so cool. Because when I first saw that, I was like, "What is that?" I couldn't figure out what it was. But now that you described no, it, it, it cord, totally yeah. makes makes sense. You did an excellent job on that. I love it. Next up, who do we got next? We have Devastation Station. And he actually came up with this awesome design. Unfortunately, he's not here, so I can't pick his brain and ask him a few ideas. But basically, I think he called it the Forge. Uh, it's a, it has like a diner, it has a robot shop and a gun shop all in one tower. So he did an excellent job. The lighting is really brilliant. Like, check this building out. It has different levels. It's so cool. And again, it's just made out of uh, like a lot of greeblies and spare parts. And uh, the picture on the right is the gun shop. So that's uh, Paz Vizsla coming out um, from the shop. I guess he just bought a gun. <laughs> or maybe he's security mm -hmm. for the shop. And then here's the diner. And you can see the, the speeder bikes outside chilling out by the diner. It's really cool. I love the lighting for it. He did an excellent job with the lighting. I love those chairs. I know, right? So cool. He did an excellent job. And then there's, I think it's a, is it droid servers at the back? I think so too, yeah. 
it's like a, uh, or it's the it's the typical you know Star Wars using the IG heads uh, string dispensers thing. Yeah, <laughs> the IG uh, eighty eight head. Yeah, and some big bottles. Yeah, he did an excellent job on this. The, again, for me, what really stands out is the lighting. I thought he did an excellent job with the lighting and it's putting it all together. Because the thing is, too, is trying to get 118 scale, trying to get the right lighting so that it looks in scale isn't always easy, especially although nowadays it's a, it's becoming easier because you can get all forms of LED lights now, yeah. especially those like little <clears throat> small like twinkle lights, very small. So they fit into the 118 scale. So here's the overall building. Again, he has the various different levels and platforms. He made some grading there. And I, I believe each level is a different thing. It's, and it's the bottom good. level is the is the diner. It so looks that's so good. excellent. It looks so lived in. I love exactly. it. Exactly. And that's the thing. Weathered nicely, painted nicely. And I like how he lit it up just so that we could see all the detail in this shot. Yeah. Great job, Devastation. And next up. We have Mr. Jerry 904. He actually did a great job as well. He actually even told us what some of this stuff was and how he put it together. So let's get into some of that. So he actually found this uh, item. Well, I think, I don't know if, he, I think he bought it. Oh, he bought this one. And it's uh, Sylvanian Family's Boutique. That's the name of the actual item that he bought. And um, you know, you know those Sylvanian families? Those are those are little bunnies and oh and really dogs and whatever oh, is that puppets. What that is? Okay. Yeah, puppets, really nice little puppets. They for for obviously for small kids. Um, they awesome. about the same size as a Playmobil figure. Right. And um, they have all kind of cool accessories. I've got like a, a bed and a kitchen and all kind of stuff. I bought a, a German nice. dollar store because they are really expensive. Um, right. Actually. Yeah. Otherwise, but, yeah. I guess you're paying more for the the chocolate and stuff. <laughs> but this is Probably. awesome. Like this, he got this as a, at a thrift store as well. Yeah. And he painted it up, so you will see the the finished work in a second. And here are some of the other things that he added to it. So on top, he put a glass top of, so that way he could put those lights that he also got at a store and then again hey, very Brian. inexpensive it's a two pack uh, light pack that he got so he put the he made the roof out of glass so that way the light could shine through and illuminate the inside of the store he also got this sign that he repurposed so it actually looked cool even before he repurposed it but he did it so that he can make oh, his I'll own sign what what <laughs> sorry i was just I was um, uh, Christian Redmando. He's just saying that he has to show off his his castle mines uh, uh, the next time immediately. Uh, and I I'm, I just said yeah, definitely because oh they yeah are, for they sure great. Yeah. So yeah, if he did if he made it out of Greeblies, which I'm sure he did, he can send if he has pictures of the Greeblies, he can send us that and his completed pictures that we could see the castle mines. So here is a shop. Is this not so an cool. excellent job? That's such yeah, a cool I love it. job. Like, look at the lighting. The lighting is perfect. I love the new billboard. It's a donut shop. And, and it's, it's a, not it says, not recognizable from what he built it from. Exactly. I love it. It's so He did cool. such an excellent job. And like, like, I love how he took some pics with uh, people inside. Excellent job. He made a little sign with the, the various donuts <laughs> that are available at this shop. And of course, you know who loves donuts in, in North America? Cops love donuts. So, of course, there are police <laughs> visiting the donut shop. Excellent job. Love this picture. Uh, both pictures that he sent us with the donut shops. Excellent stuff. Like, look how awesome that is. I really, really like it. You did an awesome job, Jerry. Just look at that. I love the scene. So that was part of the theme. You can either make something or you can just put together a bunch of stuff to make a seat. Hey, Outer Multi Universe is here. How's yeah. it going, buddy? Um, so, yeah. So, this is what we love to see. We love to see your creativity, whether it be in your creativity in making stuff or whether it be in your creativity in taking pictures, whatever it may be, if you can participate in the monthly challenge, we ask that you do because we love your, your guys' work. And now we're on to Mr. Rad Toys Galaxy and his awesome, awesome 3D build. And he actually set up this scene. Now I'm going to read to you what the scene is about. 
is uh, he gave me a, a, a backstory for it, which is excellent. So part of what uh, Grad Toys Galaxy and what it's about, because one of the things that you you guys will notice if you look at his videos on YouTube or you look at his pictures on Instagram is that he has different era Star Wars figures all in the same scene. And some people will complain, but he actually has a great explanation as to why that is. So in his universe or his galaxy, what happened is Ahsoka went into the world behind world, world between worlds and messed things up. And what ended up happening is she collapsed the world between worlds. So all the different timelines and different eras all amalgamated into one. So they're all together. So that's how come you'll see Darth Revan right shoulder to shoulder with Ahsoka and all these people because of the fact that all these different eras, so the uh, KOTOR, so the Knights of the Old Republic era, you know, the, the more recent stuff and even the Mandoverse, all of those are combined into one universe now. So this scene that he prepared for us in this uh, monthly challenge is the following. So Revan is preparing... Uh, sorry, Revan prepares to depart the unknown galaxy, the unknown regions of the galaxy, on a mission that he's been set out to put up, put out to do by the Jedi Order, and his mission is to. What was it again? Oh, right, it was to finding the long lost Jedi Orders that were separated. When the, sorry, I'm having a hard time reading it. When, so this, yeah, so this is uh, what he's looking for the Jedi Order's coordinates, which were lost 3,000 years ago. And so his his uh, mission is to go and find the coordinates for that Jedi Order, the long lost Jedi Order. And I just hope that uh, we're going to get more. So that all happened with the Je Jedi Civil War. And it's an excellent story. I didn't do it justice by explaining it the way that I did. But uh, definitely check out his stuff. Let's check out some more of his pictures. Like This is such an awesome build. This is his Ebon Hawk that he 3D printed. And he actually this was actually made from the X-Wing miniatures. So you know the those really tiny ships that they yeah. do the tabletop gaming with? He blew it up. To legendary size like look at the size of this thing it is massive he did an excellent job with the paintwork <laughs> and the weathering just really cool See you later starboy and um yeah thanks for coming by starboy forget has lab give me red lab <laughs> exactly we have red lab so yeah he's done an awesome job and it's too bad starboy just left but we're about to show you his stuff so excellent stuff rad toys thank you so much for sending that in to us Excellent work on that 3D custom, and the paint job is just phenomenal. You did a great job on that. Yeah, I believe that. He says it took a lot of work to add extra detail oh, yeah. and get it up for print. Yeah, because I wouldn't, oh. I can't imagine uh, my how emissary. hard it would have been. There's so here's my emissary. A, oh, the, is that that the one that you made? I'm yeah, the one on the left, this like week. like the the what's it called? The what, I forget the name they? of those guys. Called, yeah, but I know uh, who I know. What you're talking sheep about. face, whatever. And they, uh, <laughs> yeah, he was my he was my emissary. I sent him for the for the first. What's yeah, cool is that we have uh, something in common with our emissaries. My emissary is not this alien, but the colors are similar ah, to what I'm sending him as cool. well this week. So hopefully down the road you guys will see. I'll actually I'll I'll show you those and what I'm working Timbo on. Timbo is here as well. Week. Hi Timbo. Hey Timbo. You missed, you missed how about I your messed stuff. up your stuff again. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it, we'll give I you credit. We gave you credit. I mixed it up, but I did show your Roomba. Yeah. And he gave you credit. <laughs> So that's remember that like, earlier in the Greebly section, I was telling you guys about his uh, Captain America truck that he took apart. Well, here's what he used it for. He used it to make yes, doorways. Yeah, you're right. So these are so cool. So that uh, the, so that truck part, the top part of the truck, is the doorway. The circle symbol that you see at the top there is made out of those two other pieces. So that yellow piece and the cap. The cap is that round part, so it fit right over that circle that was on top of the truck. Mm -hmm. And then the yellow part is he so he cut it up, and the yellow part is just underneath. That's what's showing through. Like he did an excellent job with this. There's your emissary. 
standing in front of the doorway. So he said it could be used as a doorway for a club or for to a market. As you can see on the, the right picture, he has his uh, Jawas uh, in the background. A cool picture, and I also really love the like the sign or logo. Yeah, that and that around. he made all that. He made it with just junk. So that those two lids that he showed us in the Greebly section, yeah, is made out of those uh, that sign. And then the sign is of course awesome design in the background. Yeah. yeah. And then we're on to my stuff. So I didn't get a chance to build anything really, like the that box that I wanted to use to make the gun shop. I didn't have time because <laughs> my focus. Sorry. Red toy. Red toy says it's the world's most secure porta potty. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can definitely use it for that too. So I didn't get a chance to do much of a build. I did put some stuff. Although now when I look at the pictures, I know they're not in the shot so i did build some things in the background i'll show them off next week and i just made them out of uh, spare parts and greeblies one of the greeblies that i made or one of the things that i made in this that you don't see in the background is i use a brita filter and i combined it with uh, the iron man um hulk buster uh, chest piece because they had a builder figure so i took it apart painted it and i'll show you guys that next week in next week's uh, weekly greeblies so here's uh, my Jawa shop. So it's a Droid Depoy shop. Hey, what's up, Trash Man? And so, yeah, so here's a Ithorian looking to buy this special piece. If you guys know what that piece is, it's a Easter. I have a few Easter eggs in some of these shots. So some of you toy collectors might know what some of these toys are. Um, so you can see in the background there's a, there's a Jawa working on a probe droid. Yeah. On the background. And uh, is, this Jawa is that, trying to sell this piece. Mm -hmm. What is that piece? Is it is it from a Star Wars toy? Because then I'd no, say it's, it's from, actually it's ah, not okay. from a Star Wars toy. So a, I'm out. I I, I, know. <laughs> I will tell is you, it? it's from a GI Joe toy. Ah, okay. It's the only hint I'm giving you guys is from a GI Joe toy. <laughs> Some of you guys might already know what it's from. I'm sure Rad <laughs> Toys knows what it is. What did he say? Oh, he just says because because um, he's picking up. He, um, Refuse guy, I think that's how he's calling <laughs> Waste Man. <laughs> Intergalactic Waste Man. Ah, uh, he says it's from GI Joe yep. Math Device. Yes, no, that's not the Math Device. Close, no? that's not the Math Device. Uh, it's from the Weather Dominator. Uh, the Math Device is the bigger piece, but it's from, you're you're close. It's from the um, from the uh, Weather Dominator. So here's another Easter egg. So actually, Rad Toys will probably notice some of his Greeblies in the background. I was just like going those, to say they look familiar. Those thrusters, as well as that little grate right behind the boy. And behind the boy, it's kind of blurry, but behind that grate is the other half of that Hulkbuster that I was talking about. So it's in that shot as well. So that uh, the Easter egg and this one are not only the Greeblies, but that dog. Does anyone know where that dog is from? Uh, yeah, yeah it's Doug Rogers. Is it Doug Rogers? No, no. Uh, no, it's from Battlestar Galactica oh, 1979. Battle Battlestar Galactica, that yeah. is Muffet. The, or is it uh, is it Muffet? Yes, Muffet, the, the little boy's dog. So, obviously, the, the Jawas, yeah, trying Brian to sell them it, that dog. Course. Awesome, Brian stuff. knew it, of course. <laughs> and here's another Easter egg. Can you guys guess <laughs> what this is from? <laughs> Eliminate or terminate, exterminate, yeah. exterminate. I didn't watch it, but aren't they um, <laughs> Doctor Who or whatever? Yes, there you go. Yeah. You got it, yeah. Doctor Who. So those are uh, from Doctor Who. I forget the names of them. So if you guys know the name of those robots, tell us in the comments. And in fact, that Jawa is trying to sell those robots to Doctor Who himself. Okay. Uh, Brian, you got it right again. You yes. go on to the hot seat for the check for today's checkpoint. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, but no prizes. No prizes for this except for a pat on the back. Great job. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Derelict. Yes, uh, that's yeah. it. So those or, are Dalek. Dalek. I, heard, I heard Daleks as well. I think it's just it's the same. I, I never watched the show. So I never Dalek watched it either. Derelict? Is that the same? Or Dalek. Is it just... I think they're called a Dalek. Oh, okay. But they're they're really I was I when I first saw ah, those robots, Red, I thought Red they were supposed to do it. Just guessing. 
So yeah, so he's trying to sell this. Jaw is trying to sell the yeah. robot, and it can number Rat one price that is. Can uh, uh, Rat Toy see another one of his Greeblies in the background? His, you see the T three there on the side. Yeah, yeah. And um, here is Aegis Station, the slime slime noids. Is that what they're called? Slime noids or slim noids? I, 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 slimoids. I, slimoids. I slimoids. Yeah, slimoids. Whatever. Slimoids. So here they are. So yeah, oh, definitely go check out Agent Station. It will be in the description. So you have an opportunity of getting uh, stuff like these. They're really cool. And now they, they glow in the dark. He has ones that glow in the dark as well. Yeah. So excellent stuff. These, I think, uh, yeah. And then finally here is uh, the uh, rat toys. Uh, ooze plasm. Ooze plasm. Ooze Plasma. Ooze plasma. Oh, cool. I, just, I did probably not know just that. me calling them slimoids all the time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Think, yeah, probably. Ooze plasms. Plasm. That's cool. I like that name too. Yeah. Excellent stuff, Agent Station. And then his Rad Toys printout that he sent me. Uh, the M, the M1, sorry, the N1 uh, thrusters. But of course, Jawas stole it and <laughs> they're trying to sell it. And they're trying to sell it to this girl who's actually quite happy with the design and she's thinking about making a purchase so he's trying to close that sale and before we end this off i just have the last part which is a short little video let's remove this and let us bring in this jazzy I'll explain, I'll explain in a second. I love how the light is coming. Yeah, yeah so that, awesome. so mm. basically what I did was I just I panned across because it's all on a long table. So I ah. just panned across the table and showed you because it's basically is going to be a street. Okay. Um, so this is part of Edge Point Station and it's, that's it's going to big, be a street. I just I thought that was some like yeah, so where there was movement. where there was a little bit of panning was at the very end because basically it's a straight line and then it goes into a corner. And so I kind of had to turn the camera a little bit to give you that slight turn towards the uh, towards the end there. But yeah, that's my one of my city streets. That's not going to be the final look, but that is uh, part of my edge point station. And so that brings us to the end of the monthly challenges. I want to give you guys all an applaud because you guys did an excellent job. All of you guys did excellent work. Thank you so much for your submissions, guys. We really appreciate that. It helps the show. It helps it make it fun for all of us to give us ideas. And that's what we want to promote on this show is to, you know, Whip Wednesday, right? So we want to give you guys work in progress ideas so you can come up with your own creations and submit those at the end of the month. So speaking of which, we are now into a new month. It's the second day of April. And so is it the second day? No, third day of April. Third. Fourth. Third day. April fourth, no, actually. No, is, no, is it April fourth? No, it's April first. Oh no, sorry, it's April third. 4th. Third, April third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's April fourth in Germany already. Yes, yeah, so I was about to say, yeah, in Germany, your your time traveling, buddy. On my on my uh, <laughs> on is my still tablet, German it's time. still German time, so it's ten minutes past midnight on Thursday, the fourth. So in yeah, Germany. so in so, Germany, yeah. it's already the fourth. But seeing how we're the third day in, we still have plenty of time 
for people to come up with some ideas. So this month's challenge is to come up with a custom sci-fi character. So action figure. You can make as many as you want. You can make a team if you want. You can just make one if you want. However many you want to make, the rules still apply. Five pictures or up to a one-minute video and or up to a one-minute video. So as you can see, Lord of Thay has already got, gotten started with some of his custom builds. So yeah, again, we want to see what awesome characters you guys can come up with. If you've already made one recently and you want to show that one off, you can do that as well. We don't mind. So actually, you know what? I think I, I might want to make it so that let's increase it to 10 pictures. Yeah, I like that. Let's do you can do up to 10 pictures. You don't have to do 10 pictures, but if you want to do 10 pictures, you can go ahead and do 10 pictures. And now instead of it just being a 15 second video, you can do up to one minute for your video. So that's going to be excellent. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. It's going to be a lot of fun. And that's all we have for you guys today. So I uh, hope Jerry's you guys asking, really... so can we just Ooh. make over a character? Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, you can just sure. Kid dash something or you can build a figure from scratch. You can 3D yep. design one and print it and yep. send one out to every one of us, whatever, whatever you want to do. Whatever gets your creativity going, whether it be a figure that you really like and you just kit bash it to make it your own, you can do that. If you just want to paint a, a whole new figure or a paint a figure that you already like and you just want to repaint it, you can do that as well. Or you can, like he said, the, like Lord of Thane said, you can actually build one from scratch or 3D model one. Because I know there's a lot of you guys out there with 3D printers, so you guys can definitely do that as well. And uh, it can if if you guys want to make it an alien, you can make it an alien. If you want to make it a droid, you can make it a droid. Basically, what we're looking for is a custom action figure for uh, world building. So we definitely want to see what you guys come up with. And I'm very excited to see what we come up with by the end of the month. Well, Pirates, that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here. Lord of Thane, thank you so much for being on the show, as always. My co-host with the most. Me. I had a blast. It, like always, it's always a fun time. And then next week, we're back to our regular type of scheduling where we have our creators corner. So we're going to choose somebody for that. Hopefully, it'll be someone that you guys haven't seen and we'll showcase them next week. And until then, Pirates, I hope you guys have a great one. Take care, Pirates. Keep on building. Exactly.